Good morning. Distinguished guests, dear friends and colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, most of you already know me, but for those who don't, the name is Dimitri Piros, and I'm the president of the Euro emergency number, European, European Emergency Number Association. That goes well. Um, on behalf of our vice presidents, Mladen and Dieter, board members Kylie and Emily, and the entire INA staff, I would like to welcome you all at this year's INA conference and exhibition. It is always a pleasure to see all of our colleagues, old and new, gathered in one place to share knowledge and expertise. This year is also special because it is the first time ever that we're hosting the event in France and we're beyond happy to be meeting you all here in beautiful Marseille. Historically, as you know, this city is known for being a hub for cultural exchange and diversity and it therefore makes sense for us to host this year's conference here. The sunshine and the delightful seaside breeze are also some welcome additions to our conference this year. We're so glad to be host this event in person. If these last two years have taught us anything, it is the value of human interaction. In being able to exchange experiences and knowledge with one another in person, and how we can never take that for granted. This is something I felt at our recent conference in Riga last year, and that I once again feel here in Marseille. As I stand surrounded by so many valued members of our incredible community. So thank you, thank you, and thank you, each and every one of you, for being here today. With that in mind, our top priority is always your health and well-being. This is why we prefer to remain vigilant and ask all of you to comply with hygiene and the safety precautions INA has implemented to protect yourself and those around you, such as, such as the mask wearing obligation in our event, as well as the other safety measures that you see up on the screen. Should you experience any symptoms of COVID-19, you are required to self-isolate in your hotel room and call reception, who will send qualified medical personnel to take care of you. If you feel unwell during the event, at the event site, head to the info and safety point to get the necessary help and make sure to self-isolate while waiting for medical staff to arrive. Moving on. To make sure the conference runs smoothly, we ask a few practical things from you. We ask you to keep your phone on silent while attending the sessions in the conference room. Could you please do it now if you have forgotten? As for the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi channel is free Wi-Fi Sano, but you're required to enter uh, email address. You can write your true email address or even a fake one if you wish. It works. Reliable sources gave me the trick and the one I entered, as you can see up on the screen, works. Now, if it doesn't work, we go back to a hashtag that we had in previous conference and that hashtag is Ask Taviana. If that doesn't work, then ask Tadas to have a beer with and forget about the Wi-Fi. Please feel free to share uh, your event experience on social media using the hashtag INA2022. And if you forget what the hashtag is, it's right in front of you throughout the conference. When it comes to food and beverages, coffee breaks are offered by INA. And for lunches, I'm sure you will satisfy your appetite thanks to a large range of options that you can pay either with a credit card or cash at our two lunch stations in the exhibition area. And if you want to save time, be smart and purchase your food and beverage tickets in advance at the selling point in the registration area. Everything I just talked about, along with any further protocol details or practical information you might need to know can be found in the event booklet where you will also find a handy floor plan of the venues, as well as details on the program of the conference. You can also download the entire program if you visit the inaconference.org uh, site. 
Please note that all event materials, such as conference photos, presentations, and so on, will be available on the INA conference website from May 31st. Please don't ask the INA staff before May 31st. We will have it up and running on May 31st. With these housekeeping elements out of the way, I would also like to spend a moment to thank our sponsors and supporting organizations whose commitment is what makes our conference possible. And I would like uh, applause for our conference ex exhibition contributors, sponsors, and supporting organization, please. We're also incredibly excited that the 112 Awards Ceremony is back this year. We were not able to have a 112 Awards Ceremony in Riga, but it, we are back with the Awards Ceremony. We will be celebrating the most inspiring and heartfelt stories of courage and bravery. And the ceremony will be held tonight and will begin promptly here at 6 o'clock in the evening. Please be here. I guarantee you this is an event that you don't want to miss. Now, let's take a moment and step back. Five years ago, who would have thought that uh, most European countries would have accurate color location and efficient public system um, display, public warning system displayed? Well, it is the case today with AML functioning in most countries and with reverse 112, which will soon be deployed in all member states. These are some of the things that we have achieved together, and I'm sure we will achieve more, from the access to AED mapping in PSAPs to the deployment of next generation 112. Lastly, we could not start this conference in this environment that we live today without mentioning the ongoing war in Ukraine. All our thoughts are with the people and emergency services in Ukraine, our colleagues of emergency services in Ukraine. Thoughts, but actions also. You will find behind me and in the booklet all the information so that you can donate money through the International Committee of the Red Cross, ICRC, and remember, any donation is meaningful. Now, without any further ado, I am proud to declare the 2022 edition of the INA Conference and Exhibition open. Thank you.